In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. One God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 13, verses 5 through to 13. Examine yourselves as to whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Do you not know yourself that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless indeed you are disqualified. But I trust that you will know that we are not disqualified. Now I pray to God that you do no evil. Not that we should appear approved, but that you should do what is honourable, though we may be disqualified. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. For we are glad when we are weak and you are strong. And this also we pray, that you may be made complete. Therefore I write these things, being absent, lest being present I should use sharpness, according to the authority which the Lord has given me for edification and not for destruction. Finally, brethren, farewell. Become complete. Be of all good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss, and all the saints greet you. In this letter from St. Paul to the Corinthians, there are some points I'd like to draw to your attention for you to meditate upon, to contemplate. Because, yes, he was writing to the Corinthians. But these letters he wrote were not only for the Corinthians, <clears throat> but for you and for me. Today, in the 21st century, when the world is in turmoil, due to many things, including the pandemic of the COVID-19, the elections in the United States has brought turmoil to that part of the world too. So as St. Paul says, examine yourself as to whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Do you not know yourselves that Jesus Christ is in you? Jesus Christ is in you. To all those who believe, he is in you. Unless you are disqualified. But I trust that you will know that we are not disqualified. And then he urges them, Now I pray to God that you will do no evil, not that we should be appear approved, but that you should do what is honourable, though we may seem disqualified. For we can, could, can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. He is urging us all to be honourable. To do what is honourable. To live the life of a Christian an honourable life. 
blessing everybody by what you do. We may be weak, but yet we are strong. For we have Christ within us, who makes us strong. We have the Holy Spirit within us. Those who have accepted Christ and have been baptized. The Holy Spirit is living within us. Make the most of that. How often have you forgotten that he is within you? Yes. You who are Christian, who believe in the Son of God, have been baptized. You who have faith, the Holy Spirit is living within you. For we are glad when we are weak and you are strong, as he said. And he says, we also pray that you may be made complete, complete in all we are and do as Christians. Of course, he said, that he writes in his absence because if he was present he should use sharpness according to the authority which the Lord had given him for edification and not for destruction. In the <coughs> excuse me in the final couple of verses he says finally brethren Farewell, become complete, become complete in the Lord. Be of good comfort to those around us. Be of one mind, be like-minded. And this is why I urge you to go to church to be with other people who are like-minded. Live in peace. Live in peace is important for us. If we live in peace, we are at peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. And then he goes on, greet one another with a holy kiss, and all the saints greet you. So much in there for us to remember during these difficult days that we are living in. But we must stand up and show our faith to the world around us. As he said in that very first verse I read, examine yourselves as to whether you are in the faith, or are you in the world? Has the world sucked you into their turmoil? the uneasiness that is happening around us. Test yourselves, he says. Every day, test yourself. Do you not know yourselves? And then comes the punchline. Jesus Christ is in you. So remember, so important that we stand up for the faith. 
we show ourselves, not like a rioting crowd, but peace-seeking people who only want peace in their lives, who want to live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.